let's get started. But what I was going to say, in all honesty, though, um, you know, you guys, you guys have your moments, whether it's on Twitch or, or YouTube, right? You guys have your own moments. But overall, I'm actually very happy with the uh, community we made, we got. I don't think there's too many, like, I rarely ban people. I realize that. Like, in other streams, I've seen people get banned left and right. I ban, like, honestly, maybe once every two to four weeks, which is insane considering, like, I actually looked at the statistics yesterday. Over my Twitch streams, live streams, in the span of, like, three, four hours, I get about three and a half to four thousand unique viewers. And it's StarCraft 2, so that's basically everyone in StarCraft 2. That's how you win. Um, which is a lot of people, right? So to ban, like, one to two people a month is pretty pretty sick you know like it's a pretty good number same thing for YouTube initially there used to be a lot of people that were like molding on YouTube like of like insulting me and stuff like that and uh, you know I uh, quickly removed them right but I don't even remember the last time I removed someone people have just genuinely been nuts you know if you're looking to boost your numbers you can ban me I hey, I'll write you down don't worry about it Way to go, StarCraft. Well, I don't know if that's StarCraft specifically, okay? Because like I said, I'm, I'm saying for StarCraft, like I'm not talking about the whole Twitch, because whole Twitch, there's a lot of baboons out there. But I've seen in other StarCraft 2 streams, quite a few people get banned. But I feel like, um... I feel like the reason why not as many people get banned on my channel is because, like, you have to be actual... Not enough minerals. You know, to get banned. But also, like, trolls get banned in other streams, but trolls in my stream don't really work because I just rant about it and I make, like, a basically, like, a skit out of it, you know what I mean? So they don't get, I think, the reaction they wanted to, so they just kind of move along. But yeah, thank you guys for being, uh, you know, normal, right? For being uh, supportive, for uh, not being uh, pepegas all the time, at least. Like I said, you guys have your moments, right? I have my moments. We all do. In it. We're in it to win it. In it. Bad news. But overall, uh, very nice. Very nice. Can we add some tears running down my face? That was actually a beautiful speech. Trolls free content. Well, that's the thing, right? People get upset. Other streamers get upset over trolls, but for me, it's like free content. What's going on? And I don't think anyone wants to be made a uh, content out of. Oh, the, oh, he scattered my barracks. What a... Yep. yep. Son of a gun. Uh, I think the stream is so good because you don't mold over them. They don't care because it's not fun. Exactly. Like, trolls try to get a reaction. If they don't get a reaction, they move on. Like, uh, I'll, I mean, trolls in general, right? Whether it's on Twitch stream or somewhere else, they troll to get a reaction. Like, no one just trolls because they just wanted to say something, right? They troll because they're looking for a reaction, right? Mostly negative, right, to be honest. So, um, if you don't give them the reaction, then you are uh, basically disarming them. Yeah. Yo. What? You. Huh? This next is first. No, it's not. What do you mean, bro? He has a gateway and cyber credit. This guy's in a lot of trouble, though. Certainly. What? 
Command center upgrade, not enough. Base is under attack. He's going Blink Stalker, so I need to overwhelm his Stalker count. Some Not pressure. Not enough minerals. Not enough. This is one of those where I actually just have to Like I can't transition out of this. I have to continuously just go for Reapers now. Came out ahead there for sure, right? Upgrade complete. Like he is one base economy right now, and I'm uh, on a lot of base economy. So I'm actually not even going to bother with medevacs. I think a turret here in case we need DTs. Yeah, that's not going to work, bro. Plus two, plus two, plus two on the way. What? Guys, check this out. I'm gonna make something beautiful. I'm gonna make something beautiful.
didn't work because I didn't cold it long enough. Should have held, held it a little bit longer. Last game of yesterday was dope. Yeah, it was really good. 10 out of 10 would play again. What was supposed to happen? I just did a shift Q rapid fire command with the grenades and I wanted them to turn, but Reapers kind of turned slowly, so it looked shit. Another one. Another one. Not enough, mm -hmm. minerals. Not enough minerals. How hype are you for Not TBC Beastie? Minerals. From 1 to 5, 24. I'm counting days, alright? I'm counting hours. I want to play it now. I want to play it now. I'm actually, I was thinking about it, because I don't know when this episode is going to go on YouTube. It might go like after the TBC launch, but I plan to stream 24 hours, right? On the midnight release. And I'm I was actually like, wait, am I going to be able to stream for 24 hours straight? Because that's a long time and I haven't done super long streams in a while, right? Because before when I would do a 24 hour stream, I basically was doing like sometimes 8, 9 hour stream, 10 hour stream every once in a while, right? So doing a 24, it's like, okay, it's, a, it's pushing, but it's like, yeah, you know, whatever. But then... I was thinking yesterday, I was like, am I going to be able to actually do a 24-hour stream? So it's going to be a nice little challenge, you know? Why do you never stream WoW? Well? Um, I don't know. Like, honestly, because, like, WoW is more like, I did stream it, like, uh, last week or whenever it was. But WoW is more like just chilling, you know? Sometimes I'm not playing anything. Sometimes I'm just like browsing something i'm talking to people on discord like i'm not con constantly playing and i'm like I, i'm not used to having downtime on my stream um so if unless i have something going on then i'm just like i'll just go offline instead basically that's my train of thought um, gas. like WoW Arenas, I think, is gonna be good content. Gas. Uh, what's happening here? Insufficient Uh-oh. Uh, WoW Arenas is gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be good content, I think, because, um, it's kind of like StarCraft, like you're constantly queuing up for games and stuff. Oh, I might be dead here. Supply depots required.
add-on complete. Enough energy. Mineral field depleted. Base is under attack. Yes. Super focused. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field is depleted. Insufficient vessel. And if I didn't lose that one BC, four, like four BCs right now would be so sick. We 
Mineral field depleted. Base Our is SCVs under attack. Are under attack. Base is under attack. is under attack. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. Our SCVs are under attack. under attack.
base is under attack. Base is under attack. I gotta use a base. Additional supply depots required. Base is under attack. Our SCVs are under attack. Our SCVs are under attack. Okay, so he just recalled, so in case there's a base trade, he cannot recall. Which I think was a big mistake from him. Recalling one stalker is like, whatever. The question is, what do I Yamato? So stupid, like every unit from Protoss is faster than a battle cruiser. Like bro. Tempest million range faster than BC. GG. I don't know what else could have done. I mean, I lost the, the early BC and maybe that would have made a difference, but like from the opening, there's nothing I can do. He put a shield batter in his main base, so my four Reapers couldn't do shit. Um, I can only make four Marines, so I have to make million missile turrets. So I don't know what else I could have done. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, this is something that we discussed, like, is it even gonna be possible to win against Proxy Voidries? I mean, uh, technically, you can defend it, but uh, after you defend it, what then? So I think maybe against Protosses now, because I'm, I'm going to be meeting a buttload of Protosses. So maybe it's a better idea if I open like one base against Protoss and just go one base PC opening. So if in case I meet this, at least I'm going to have super fast battle cruiser, because that was a slow battle cruiser for me, because I was going to do two racks expand. Terran. Oh, Terran. Terran activity is my best matchup for this series. I just hope I actually meet Terrans because uh, 
we have met the Not least monetarians in this series, followed by Zerg, and then of course we met Protoss the most. Because everyone and their mom and their grandma and their grandpa and their distant cousin is playing Protoss these days, so... Can't you just battle through the rush in every matchup? Well, you can't. You can also cancel all your buildings in every matchup, but you're not gonna win. It ain't good, brother. Your pink and blue 3 3 uh, Iman, thanks so much for the 30 months. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Like, the Proto the Protoss is rough because 2 racks Reaper opening, I feel like might be decent into like 3 racks and more. The problem with that is if you meet Voider, is you're dead, right? But then if you go fast expand into uh, Battle Cruisers, and the Protoss just go fast expand into Blink, you lose to Blink Stalkers. So, I feel like in order to win, you're taking a risk one way or the other and um yeah what's going on bad news you're the boss build here move it makes a big job huh so i'm not sure i mean i'll, I'll keep trying maybe i'll come up with something command center upgrade not enough because, yeah, basically, it, it's a, it's in a way like rock, paper, scissor. Like, I go this, he goes that, I lose. And then, even if the matchups work out for me, or not the matchups, but the build order, it's not like I'm getting a free win. It's like I have a fighting chance. I still gotta battle it out, so... We'll see. We will see, boys. We will see. Yeah, from above. Yeah, from above. Like this build for TVT, um, it's not like it's immune to everything, I'm pretty sure I can lose games, but I feel pretty confident in this build. Um, and I think like, you can potentially defend a lot of the all-ins, you can play well versus fast expand, versus 1-1-1 openings that are like a little bit more aggressive. Uh, like right now, he's a little bit ahead on economy, right? But soon I'll have a BC and I can maybe make something happen there. You know, it, it's kind of like back and forth a little bit. I want to scout how many Hellions and stuff he's making, even though I'm going to lose these Reapers. Okay, he's making a Cyclone and he's going Raven. So even though I lost those Reapers for nothing, I still got some good information regarding uh, what he's doing and stuff. So right now, I'm feeling pretty good to teleport across the map. He's gonna have like three or four marines and a cyclone, which if I manage to kill, if I manage to get on top of the cyclone, then I'll be able to kill marines easily. Then he's gonna have a raven, which I should be able to compete against. Yep. Big job, huh? You gonna give me orders? SCV ready. Base is under attack. Why? Base is under attack. Well? What's going on? So 
Don Tonerma. <clears throat> I literally managed to teleport right on top of uh, Cyclone. That prediction, though? Well, yeah, actually. He had four Marines of Cyclone already. <laughs> 